All right, everyone. Welcome. Today, you just might need a block. So that would be helpful or some sort of support mechanism for yourself when we do some of the standing postures. I really cherish this time together. It's really the only time I'm alone, right? So this is the only time in all of my 24 hours, these 45 minutes that I'm alone. Alone meaning in my physical space. I'm with you, of course, but in my physical space. And um, it's really important for me too, you know, to have that because then it allows me to be more present with my daughter, more present with my responsibilities. So it's almost vital for my life, right, to be here. And as you practice more and more, you might feel the same. This is vital for my life. It's vital for my, you know, sense of well-being for my thriving to be here. So let's give it our full effort, our full concentration, our full love and compassion, this 45 minutes that we are together. And isn't it amazing that such a small amount of time will feed the rest of the day, maybe even the rest of the week, maybe even the rest of life, a moment of practice can be so powerful. Dip into the ocean. As you're ready, getting settled in your seat, let's take a moment to contemplate where it all began for you. When did you start walking this path of yoga or inner exploration? How did it begin? What were the circumstances? Who were you at that point? Maybe certain images flash or memories or words sensations, and then just catapulting your mind to this moment, this body, this you, who are you now? Still practicing, still walking the path. A lot has changed, maybe the way you practice, what you consider important, your priorities, but the essence remains the same. The essence that pulled you onto the path and has kept you here. So let's give thanks to that. As you inhale, bringing the palms together in Anjali Mudra, a prayer of thankfulness. Sahana Bhavatu Sahano Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karivavahai Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastu Ma Vitvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Start to breathe a little bit deeper. 
think a little bit clearer. Extending your mind now from the head into the rest of the body, which is what we do in our asana. We bring the space, the mind field throughout the body and even beyond with the power of our will, sankalpa. With your next inhalation, take the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, or just palms are facing one another, whatever is comfortable for your shoulders, chin slightly down. Just take two or three breaths in samavritti, if you haven't already, even inhale, even exhale. Finding a ratio that is appropriate for you today. Slightly longer than your normal natural breath. A touch of ujjayi, constriction at the throat to magnetize the mind into the inner world. If your eyes are open, then looking into the world at the things that are nourishing, give life, the sunlight, your plants, your animals, the objects in your room that make you happy, smile. Let's clear the day that came before this moment with Kapalabhati. As you inhale, rise your mind to the soft palate. Lightly hold the breath, draw up the mudra bandha, the pelvic floor, and then again, 36 rounds, forceful exhale, passive inhale, or just breathing deeper as you wish. Try not to let your mind waver. Keep it at the soft palate or right at the center of the navel. The more we commit to the here and now, the more the fruits of the practice become more ripe, more full into our daily lives. As you're finished, the arms can relax down. Good. All right. Settling the eyes. If you're sitting in any other position other than cross-legged, normal cross-legged, just change so that you come into Sukhasana, right? Or just change the cross of your legs, stretch them out if they need a little bit of relaxation. So in Sukhasana, there's more space behind the knee, Relaxation for the ankles, good. Now as you inhale, let's take the arms up. Good. You can interlace if you like, and then as you exhale, fold forward over the crossed ankles. Right. Keep the arms in line with the head as you inhale, rise up. Follow the pace of your own breathing. As you exhale, now turn to your right knee and then fold over the right knee. Extend long through the spine. So we're not rounding the upper back. Inhale, rise up. And then this time the left side as you exhale over to the left. Good. Inhale to rise. And then we'll repeat that same sequence. So exhale forward and then over to the right and then over to the left. Take your time, your own breath. Yeah, you might find that in one direction, the body feels perhaps a little bit constricted. Just notice that. Good. And then when you come back to center, you'll exhale and take your hands down on the knees. Lean back slightly and again, switch the cross of your ankles. Good. Holding lightly onto the kneecaps, we'll start the rotation of the torso. So as you exhale, Right, bring the torso forward and down as you inhale over to the side and back. You can even add a little bit of a hint of cat and cow. So maybe as you exhale, come forward, you broaden the front of the chest and as you reach back, you dip the back of the throat. Good, see what the edges of your circumference are and then rotate in the opposite direction. 
that edge, that boundary changes every day. And it's really important to know how it changes because that will dictate how much energy we can give to others, right? Or for the tasks that we have to do. That boundary is very close, very tight to the body, then not much to give. Better to spend the day replenishing yourself as much as possible. Good, as you inhale, now rotate back, come back with the head, neck, and trunk in one line. Close the eyes gently. Starting to focus on the breath of the nostrils. See if the eyes, the eyelids can just lightly touch each other so that there's no frowning or furrowing of the eyebrow ridge. A nice wide expanse up there. And if the eyebrows are relaxed, the forehead is relaxed, then concentration can also be easy and free flowing at the nostrils. So today we'll move through asanas, but also add meditation in between the asana practice, just to remind ourselves of that budding concentration. Good, and then gently open the eyes. You'll come to stand onto the two feet in Tadasana, mountain pose. Removing any items from your mat that you don't need. Go ahead and step to the long edge of your mat. Right into the middle, yeah. As you inhale, let's take the arms out to the sides. Good, and then as you exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale, press down to the heel bones. Let the legs extend as you reach the arms all the way up now. Interlace at the peak. And then exhale, reach the arms out and down. Ready to exhale, the breath is lowering the arms and the breath is lifting the arms. Good, again, inhale, lift the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers at the top, press up through the palms. Now, as you exhale, bend your elbows and take your hands behind the head. You can hold the skull. That feels good. Thumbs pointing down the neck. Breathing in and out here as you breathe in. Widen the elbows away from one another. Bring the shoulder blades together on the back. Keep that connection of the heel bones down so that you feel the engagement of your thigh muscles. Right? Pelvis is secure. And then breathing to open the upper chest region. Mm -hmm. Now as you breathe in, press down through the heel bones and extend the palms up. Reach, 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 reach. And as you breathe out, lower the arms down. Vibrant feet. Good, now full reach. As you inhale, let's take the arms up and let's take the heels up at the same time. At the peak, the heels are at the highest lift, the palms are upwards. And then as you exhale, lower heels, slowly lower palms, hands slowly. Good. Let's do that two more times, pace of your own breath. Right? Of course, the heels have less of a distance to move, but so they have to move slower than the arms. Right? Maybe the palms and the heels can touch down at the same time. Let's do one more. As you come up, let's stay here if it's comfortable, right? Lifting all the way up towards the ball of the foot. And then you'll see, feel some movement of the ankles, right? Strengthening the backs of the legs. And then with your next exhalation, slowly lower down. Good. As you lower down, drop your weight into the heels and lift all 10 toes. Look down. Gaze at the toes. Good. Separate the toes a little bit wider from one another and then lay them down, maybe one at a time, the big toes. And then, you know, it's very hard to lay them up one at a time, but at least the big toes can touch down and then the other ones. Good. Now, as you breathe in, let's take the arms up. 
Right. This time, press the palms together above you, palms facing one another. Gaze up. Udva Hastasana, slight back bend as you lift the lower ribs and then exhale, take the arms out and down all the way to the ground, Uttanasana. As you come down, holding onto the backs of the legs, hug the elbows close to the sides of the legs here. As you inhale, straighten the elbows, look forward. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides and bring the nose towards the thighs or the knees. And again, two more times like this. Inhale, straighten the limbs, giving energy into the thoracic spine, the upper back. And then as you exhale, fold into yourself. One more time. Good. Let go of your legs. With your next breath in, interlace the fingers. Press the palms down, out in front of you, and then all the way up. Strong midsection to rise up. Beautiful. Good. We're going to come right back down. As you exhale, palms press together, gaze up, and then fold all the way to the ground. This time, hook onto the big toes with your peace fingers. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get that hold. And then again, inhale, straighten your limbs to your capacity. That means your knees and elbows to look forward. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows, soften your knees if you need to. And again, two more times. Inhale, strong reach, extension of the knees, extension of the elbows, gaze forward. Bring energy into the back of the heart. And as you exhale, relax. Yes, one more time. Each time your upper body comes a little bit closer to the lower body, the meeting of the two halves that never meet. That's the beautiful thing about yoga. Things meet that never met before. Good. With your next breath in, let go of your toes, interlace your fingers, palms down, out, all the way up. Reach, 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 reach. Urdhva Hastasana. Flip the palms so that they press, gaze up, and then exhale and come again, all the way back down. Good. This time, lift your toes and then bend your knees enough so that you can slide your fingers, maybe your whole palm underneath your feet. Right? So maybe it's just the tips of your fingers. Maybe it's the roots of your fingers. Some of you will have your toes right to the wrist crease. Good. And then inhale, straighten, gaze forward. Very little space to move here. Exhale, bend and release. Make sure you drop the head on the exhale. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, bend. Good. One more time. Yes. And then when you're ready to release, step the feet very softly off of the fingers and the hands. Either hands to the hips or interlace the palms and then reach the arms forward and all the way up. Rise up, slight back bend as the palms press together. And then exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Good. Cross one ankle over the other and then come down into Sukhasana. Hands lightly on the knees and then let your breath go. Normal, natural breathing. Gentle closure of the eyes, mind to the nostrils, the pulsation of your in and out breath. Watch your heart rate settle. Spine long. Every series of or set of movements, you'll feel maybe the spine longer and longer, at least be able to feel more sensation in the spine, more energy in the spine. Soft, relaxed forehead and eyebrow ridge as you inner gaze to the roots of the nostrils, the doorway, the gateway into the temple of the body.
Start to breathe some of your deep breathing again, even inhale, even exhale. Shaping the breath to help you, assist you in the movement of the body. Blinking the eyes open and again, stepping the feet onto the ground and then coming to a standing position. Middle of the long edge of your mat. This time we'll take a block with us, so two blocks. If you have two blocks, you can place one to either side. Otherwise, if you have one, just place it to the middle. Good. Feet together, inhale, let's take the arms out from the shoulders, exhale completely. Bend your knees, hold the breath at the end of the exhale and step, or hop the feet apart, Trikonasana Stiti. Toes out, heels up. Now, if you use a block for triangle pose, you can start the block off on the right side, right foot, outside of the right foot. Good. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, shift the hips to the right, and then into the left, excuse me, and then bring the right arm all the way over to the right side, as far as it'll go, and then just drop it down. See if it lands on the block or on your leg. Inhale, left arm up. Turn the head. Either head could be neutral, facing forward, up to the sky, facing the thumb, or down, facing the big toe. So pick a point of focus. Good. Now wrap that left arm behind the back, either placing the back of the hand at the sacrum, or maybe even hooking it onto the top of the right thigh, helping you to rotate, especially into that left lung. Good. Now close the eyes and lean back ever so slightly. Good, so that you're really pressing into the outer edges of the feet, lifting the arches. Slow, steady breathing. And then inhale, open the eyes to reach the arm up and then press into the feet, rise up. Good, exhale, relax your hands. If you have that one block, you shift it over to the outside of the left foot. Inhale to reach the arms out. Good. Already feeling that upward lift of the heart. Exhale, shift the hips to the right as you reach the left arm all the way to the left side, almost like you can touch the opposite wall. And then place the hand down from the shoulder onto the block or onto your lower leg. Right arm up as you breathe in. Good. And then choose uh, how you want to hold your head, right? It's not always comfortable for everyone to look up. So maybe you look down, you look straight. Right? For the longest time, I looked down in my Tukonasana just because I have so much, I tend to have things flare up in the neck, right? So that helped me to stabilize my neck. Good. When you're ready, the arm can wrap behind you, the right arm, any amount. And then lean back with the shoulders. Yes, beautiful, exactly. Lean back with the back of the head, collecting the head in line with the spine. We forget what that feels like. We've done it it's wrong pretty much the whole time. The head moves forward in front of the spine so much. Bring it back in line with the spine. Good, and then breathing in. First, the right arm extends up. Then pressing into the feet, extending the body up to the sky. Exhale, relax the hands down. Dim the eyes or close them. Let your breathing go. And then again, shift your block over to the right foot, outside of the right foot. Highest height would be good here. Parivriti, Trikonasana, Revolve Triangle. As you inhale now, let's take the arms up. We'll break it down step by step. Rearrange your feet if you need to. Toes out, heels in. You can try that. Otherwise, if you do the other triangle stance with the toe, right toes out to the right side, left toes slightly forward, you can try that as well. But this is the Vinyasa Kama stance, right? 
Now, as you exhale, twist your upper body towards the right side. Feel that ujjayi breath. Inhale here, maybe arcing the upper back, gazing up. And then exhale, half forward fold over the right leg. Arms extend out into an airplane. Inhale here, stabilize into the legs. And then exhale, twist the spine towards the right. That left arm comes all the way across the body to the right side, outside of the right leg or onto the top of that block. Good, stay here. Or with your next inhalation, your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then pick your point of focus. Down, right behind you, or straight up to the sky. Good. Just try to stabilize your breathing, especially your inhales, right? We tend to become truncated. And then long, deep exhalations. Extend the spine long and then twist. Right. Now we're going to inhale, come right all the way back to stand in one inhalation. So as you breathe in, just remember all those different parts, sending out, facing the right side, and then spinning back to center. Feel them all come together. Exhale, relax the hands. Catch your breath if your heart is beating fast. This can be a moment to shift the block over to the left side. Mm -hmm. And then inhale, reach the arms out. If you're not ready to join, then you just wait until you are ready. You know where you're going now. Press into the outer edges of the feet. Exhale, twist from above the hips, right? That the hips don't twist as much here. It's everything above the hips. Inhale, breathing here. Maybe look up. As you exhale, tuck the chin in slightly, come halfway down folding over that left leg. Beautiful, wide open wings. Inhale here, and then exhale, you'll begin to twist the lungs over to the left side, right arm across the body to the outside of the left leg or onto the block, and then with a breath in, you can choose if that left arm up to the sky serves the posture. Serves your breath, serves your inner awareness. Good, three breaths, right? Now here, slightly drawing the back of the head back, aligning it with the rest of the spine. Good. When you're ready to come out, you come out. Otherwise, you wait another breath. And remember, it's one full inhalation that takes us back. Really be mindful of all the transition moments as you breathe in, rise up, untwist. And come back to Trikonasana Stiti. Hands can relax on the hips. Good. Close your eyes a moment, catch your breathing. And then gently flutter the eyes open, look down at your feet and turn the toes out even more so that you're really externally rotating the thigh bones away from one another. As you exhale, sit straight down as you bend the knees, almost like you're sliding down the wall. Good. As you inhale, rise up. Take one hand on the belly, one hand on the lower back. Make sure that there's not overarching of the lower back here. Exhale, you can gently pull the belly in as you bend the knees and sit straight down. As you inhale, you will rise. One more time, we'll hold for a breath. Exhale, come down, shoulders over the hips. There you go. Inhale, stay here or bring your weight into the balls of the feet as you lift the heels. Mm -hmm. Exhale, drop the heels if you've lifted them. And then inhale, rise up. Exhale, relax the hands and the hips. Heel toe the feet slightly closer together. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees. And then step or hop the feet together. Good. Turn towards the front of your mat. The short end. 
As you breathe in, take the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, and as you exhale, extend the arms out, and then all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Hold on to something, backs of your legs, big toes, or stepping on the palms. And then inhale, start to look forward, extend the joints. And then exhale, fold into yourself. Good, relax your fingers, bend your knees. Utkatasana, fold variation, squatting down to the ground. Palms onto the earth, breathe in. Gaze forward, holding the breath, stepping or hopping back. High Chaturanga. And then exhale, drop your knees, relax the tops of the toes, and then slide your heart forward and up. But extend the neck spine so the chin comes slightly in. Long neck, Urva Mukha Shanasana. And then exhale, tuck the toes, bring the hips back towards the heels as far as it comes, and then lift the knees up. Gaze back between the thighs, maybe even to the navel center. Three breaths. Good. Energy is building in the body. There's momentum, right? And then we ride those waves of momentum. We create the momentum, and then we just ride it straight on through to meditation, right? So that this not an effort to meditate. Good. As you exhale, bend your knees. Drop the knees down to the ground. Cross your ankles. Come back to Sukhasana. Cross-legged position. Palms lightly resting on the knees. And then relax the eyes closed. Before you try to concentrate your mind on the doorway of the nostrils, Anapana meditation, right? Just relax the forehead. Relax the eyebrow ridge so that they're like wide horizons. Relax the two eyes, the cheeks. When everything relaxes above the nostrils, then the mind can settle down like a bird perching on a branch, observing, singing the song of life. Feel the changes in your own body, each series of asanas, energizing and bringing to life different pathways, nadis, currents of life. And then start to breathe in some of it again, even inhale, even exhale. Very light touch of ujjayi so you can hear the breath and then flutter the eyes open. We'll stay seated now. As you lean back, uncross the ankles. And then bring your left heel towards your perineum and extend the left leg, the right leg off. So if the heel doesn't come to the pelvic floor, it can be anywhere along the inside of that right leg, right? Good. Now take your hands behind you, flexing that right foot. As you exhale, turn towards your left knee and then reach the arms over towards the left side as you fold over the left knee. We're just gonna open up the inner thigh muscle here. Inhale to rise and then walk the hands to the front and then exhale, fold to the front. Good, and then inhale to rise. Walk the hands over to the right leg, framing the right leg, and then exhale, fold over the right leg, any amount. I'm just opening the different insertions into the center of the body. Inhale to rise, and then walk the hands back to center. Good. Now you're gonna take your right palm face up, and then place it to the inside of your right leg. 
and then reach your left hand to the left thigh. Good, so a slight twist over to the left side. And then as you exhale, slide your right palm down the right leg, any amount, chest is facing forward. Good. And then inhale, you'll take your left arm up, maybe straight up to the sky or right up overhead, following the diagonal of your body. If it's comfortable to turn the head to look towards underneath the left arm, you can do so. You can look down at your right leg. Good. Right. So anywhere that the hand comes to the inside of the right leg, some of you can even hold on to the right big toe with your peace fingers as you wish. Paribriti Jani Shishasana. Reach long, right? It's easy to feel the length on the left side. See if you can billow into the right lip, ribs so that you really lift up through the right ribs here. Yeah, that might make you come up a little bit higher. Good. And then with your next inhalation, rising up, take your hands behind you. Good, and then just switch legs. Left leg extends long, right knee comes in, and that right foot anywhere along the line of that left leg. Flex the left toes. Good. Take a moment to bring your fingertips back behind you so that you really feel the lift of the ribs. And then exhale, turn towards the right bent knee and then fold over the right knee. Okay, that's going to help open up that left groin. Inhale to rise. Walk the hands to center, fold to center. Inhale to rise. And then walk the hands over to either side of the left leg as you fold over the left leg. And then inhale to rise. Take your time. If you're enjoying, stay a little longer. Right. And walk the hands back to center when you're back to meeting up with me. Mm -hmm. This time we'll flip the left palm open like a tray, right? And then connect the left inner arm to the inside of the left leg. Right hand over to the right knee, so that helps to turn the right lung. And then as you exhale, slide the left hand down the left leg, any amount. Right, little side bending action here. If you want to, um, big toe is easily accessible, you can hold it. Yeah, that's right. Take your arm up, right arm up, and maybe over the head or straight up to the sky, whatever feels appropriate. Another option is it can always wrap behind the back if you find that you're hunching or rounding the shoulders down, right? The chest is facing forward. And then in a final physical act of the posture, fix your gaze. Forward, upwards, or downwards. Or inwards, close the eyes. Mm -hmm. There's something very empowering about opening up the side body. It's, these are not movements we do in our daily life at all. We do a lot of front and back movements, but not side to side. So it refreshes the mind. It builds the capacity for adaptive, adaptability, changes in perspective. Good. When you're ready, you rise up. And then help the left knee to cross back into Sukhasana, easy posture. Palms lightly down onto the knees. Lift the back of the skull. And then come to sit on evenly on both sitting bones just for a moment. We'll adapt the posture for more pranayama meditation in a moment. But just here, find that softening of everything above the nostrils so that the mind can delicately sit at the doorway as you observe the sensations here, the change of temperature, the natural pace of your breath. And I don't know, maybe the mind is now more inward focusing. Hopefully it is. Just see the changes after each series. 
and then slowly begin to readjust your seated posture, maybe comfortable where you are, but sometimes we have a preferred meditative seat that's in a chair or Siddhasana, Swastikasana, Ardha Padmasana, right? whatever feels natural and supportive for the spine. Now bring your dominant hand into Mridhi Mudra. Fold down the peace fingers towards the palm. And then bring that hand towards the face, right? Your thumb will close the right nostril, the one nostril, and the ring finger will close the other nostril, depending on which hand you're using. The other hand lightly rests on the left. Draw the shoulders back slightly, chin slightly down to lengthen the neck spine. No more ujjayi, soft breathing at the nostrils. We'll practice Nadi Shodhanam with a ratio of four and four. Four on the inhale, four on the exhale. So as you're ready, breathe in and breathe out. Close the right nostril, inhale through the left for four. Three, two, one. Switch. Exhale, right. Two, three, four. Inhale, right. Three, four. Mind the transition to the left side and then exhale. Left. Two, three, four. That's one round. Second round. Inhale, left. Watch your mind transition from left to right nostril and then exhale. Inhale right. Transition and exhale left. Round two, now third round starting, inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Good. Go ahead and do two more rounds on your own. If you feel this is helpful for you, sit up nice and tall. Don't compromise the spine. Your exhale out the left nostril will be the last one. And you just relax your hand down. Natural, normal breathing. No more control of breath. Shan Mukhi Mudra, closing the sense doors. Bringing the hands up to the face. Plug the ears with the thumbs. Next two fingers over the eyes. Ring fingers to the sides of the nostrils and pinkies to the corners of the lips. Good. Now, when you close the ears completely, focus on the inner sound, nada, the inner sound deep in the heart center. One minute, Sean Mukimudra, go ahead, closing the ears. And then exhale, bring the hands down. 
to relax the arms down, the right palm over the left palm, the thumbs can connect in Dhyana Mudra right at the base. Mm -hmm. Right over left, and thumbs lightly touch thumb tips. Closing the eyes again. In a lot of the iconography and mythology, the deities sit on giant lotuses. Just imagine your seat on one of those beautifully thousand petal lotuses. Open, soft, yet firm. Imagine its color, the lotus upon which you meditate. And then see that same lotus in the center of the heart. The same lotus in the center of the mind. The foundation is strong. The heart can reach its potential. And if the heart reaches its potential, the mind can free itself of its burdens, samskaras, glaciers, and fly in the inner sky. Knowing that in these minutes together, we have nourished ourselves. We have refilled the cup, re-energized our prana to face whatever we need to. But this process isn't unending. It requires continuous effort, continuous refilling, attending to the self. So recommitting yourself to the practice again. A vow or promise not to leave this path. As you inhale, bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra, bowing the head. Sealing that promise with Om. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat. As you exhale, surrender your body to Mother Earth. Inhale to rise, rubbing the palms together. Energize the new senses to look outwards again. That heat to the eyes first, and the rest of the face. Massaging if you need to, or just blinking the eyes open. Welcoming in the light again. Then yeah. thank you. Take care.